you can see Georgetown turning a corner. You can imagine that. They get Ed Cooley in there. They can be, they can be similar to what Georgetown was decades ago. I can't see this DePaul team no. turning it around. Like, I don't know if the Big East needs to cut ties with them. It, it, it's bad for the conference in all seriousness. It, 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 I mean, it's nice to have a couple wins for Xavier, even though, once again, they've lost, mm-hmm. they've lost to DePaul last year up in DePaul. But it, it's not good. It, it, it's really not good. And it's crazy because you could bring in, you could bring in a team like Dayton, same qualifications as everybody else, and they'll, you'll know they'll be more competitive, and oh, people man. will show up to the games. That's where Nobody Dayton shows belongs up to any in the Big East. Ever. That's where they belong. But 100%. I would, I would bet, I would bet, and I could be wrong on this. I would bet that Xavier would fight that. Well, the re, I think the Big I East, they, they they absolutely would. I think part of the thing, if if you look at every team in the Big East, they are all, almost all, in a big city. Yeah. Right. They they all have their own market. To Paul's in Chicago, Xavier's in Cincinnati. You got Villanova in Philadelphia, Georgetown in D.C. Correct. Yeah, right. Yeah. It goes on and on yeah. and on and on. So I think the idea is that Dayton absolutely fits the bill of a Big East school, Catholic school, private school, yeah. very good basketball school. Has you know they have a football program, but not re- like they have an FCS school, FCS football program. So it's not like that. But I think the reason, I think Paul told me this, is because that it would be a competing in the same market. Dayton and, and Cincinnati are basically the same media market, and now there'd be two teams. Now, that's not to say that there's not a – I think um, Seton Hall and St. John's are both technically the New York market, but that's the New York market. That's, that's the, right. Cincinnati's not big enough to have two teams. But I'm, I'm with you. I think it would be great if Dayton was in the, the Big East, but I understand why they're not doing that is because it would be two teams in a small market. But I think it would be very short-sighted on Xavier's part to fight that because, look, Dayton has their crew of fans. They sell out every Correct. game, right? And they all live within 10 miles of the arena, basically, yeah. or 15 miles of UD Arena. And Xavier has their crew. They sell out almost every game of their 10, 11,000. Right, right. I mean, they've got their, they've got their fans that you're going to guarantee. And so they're, they're, there's really zero reason. And again, I don't know for sure that that's what they would do. So I don't want to speak for them.